could be a good one. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Eddie Hall, he's the strongest man in the world. We're about to see how hard he can punch two. Six foot two, 300 pounds. And he'll face Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall with that massive 83 inch reach. An amazing reach advantage that fighters do not expect to see in this kind of fighter. The jab is unassumingly long and sharp and fast and that will really put you off your stride. The Beast, Eddie Hall. Not sure anyone hits harder than the world's strongest man, a title he won in 2017. His hometown is Newcastle, UK. The Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder. Only 216 pounds, but one of the biggest hitters in heavyweight history. Todd, can you spot the reach difference? Can you spot it? Look at that. And with that, we turn it over to the... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Newcastle under Lyme, England, the first man to deadlift 500 kilos, the 2017 World's Strongest Man, here is Eddie, the Beast Hall. Fighting out of the blue corner, an Olympic bronze medalist from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, a hard-hitting sensational knockout artist, and a WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. The wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers times and what I say you must obey. Good luck. Let's Great to have you with us for this all action affair. We expect big things and I don't think we're going to be disappointed. It's like a game of joust. They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Both men step back for just a moment. Well, I hope you brought your sunglasses because we're fighting outside and what a main event this should be. Todd, this is something you can never, ever get used to. How many gyms are built outside? How many times do we train, spar, and everything outside? Now you're having a fight outside. This is where fighters may gas themselves out. This is where the environment may make so much of a difference. You may not realize it, but watch when the rounds roll on. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. with that power punch. <laughs> and he fails to score with that left hook. <laughs> Got a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Cannot afford to lose another round. Leaves a knockout without a. What do we expect to see here in round two? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. an eye on 
this slugger, as you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. Nice exchange here from both men. Like to see more jabs. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Left counter score. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Not a lot of punch output. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. When you think you come up by ring away, you walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Here we go in round three. Who's gonna land the first big shot? Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab, be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Terrorize them into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. combination to this safe. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. That one lands. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Solid punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Complacent. You think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. On to the fourth we go. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. to see a jab from these two. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire because somebody's going to get hurt and someone's going to react.
Good left counter that lands. These two are the perfect dance partners. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. They both think they're playing Tiddlywinks. This is the fight game. When you get in there, you get into fight. The fans have paid their money to watch you fight. We're sat here to talk about you fight. The corner men are there because they want to see you fight. We need a fight. Men step back for just a moment. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Beautiful counter punch. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those point areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. He threw the hook, didn't land. He just misses with that jab. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you gotta think him. He's just gotta be smarter than him. He's gotta be like a little fagin, a pickpocket. It's the one who draws first blood card. That's what you've gotta look at. If you get and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've gotta be confident. When are we going to see a jab from these two? He blocks the hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made look. This is the beginning of round six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. There's a counter shot. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Good counter left hand there. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walked right through them? Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've gone in the ring with fighters like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I gonna do now? In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. He just missed with that left jab. Neither
other fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. You'd like to see more jabs. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Nice round, good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good man. Every time Round seven. Here we go. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Oh, my motto is: if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. Nice job by him to block that jab. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. This is easy for us to say and comment here at ringside, but those guys can see what they've got to do. I understand there's a lot of pressure. I understand there's some guys that are just naive or inexperienced, but just give them a break. Give them a little time. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Both men step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the corner man's got to put up. And they're back at it again here in round eight. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. When are we going to see a jab from these two? <laughs> nice counter. Neither man really defending themselves. Good counter-punching for both these athletes. Nice exchange here from both. So there you have it. It is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree. I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.